Hello friends, is everyone rich in Canada? Of course, right? I mean, according to the media, what you see, uh, YouTubers that show you amazing videos how rich Canada is, and maybe some people who tell you, oh, we should immigrate to Canada because everything is better, everything is richer, everyone is richer in Canada. But this is the truth. Sorry, no, not everyone is rich in Canada. Not even close. Canada has less poverty than in many other countries or most countries in the world. This is very, very good. And Canada is doing lots of things to provide help to people who are poor, to really get them from where they are right now, maybe poor, to get into a better life. There are food banks, there are social welfare checks, and there are places to find work and such. So this is like amazing, really good thing in Canada. But not everything is perfect, right? So maybe some of the things I want to talk to you is because it's important when you're coming here to Canada that you know the truth and the right things. So also you're not a bit uh, too judgmental about people. So for example, homelessness has gone up in Canada, unfortunately, especially because of, you know, 2020, 21, 2022, the whole issue with people being sick and the economy is shutting down. It has affected Canada as well. So people lost, some of them lost their jobs or couldn't work for a while, didn't have enough money to pay off their cars, their house. And so for them it was just too much financial pressure, so they ended up on the streets. Some unfortunately, in this situation, they were left to use substances, alcohol and other things. And now homeless and use those things and unfortunately are not coming up in life. Good thing is Canada is helping them. We have centers and everything. Government is providing support, but honestly, statistics prove that most people, when once they are down like this, they never come up again. Because there's often not enough support, really. So this is like, and it has been a rising um, effect. You can see it in uh, two of our bigger cities, in Toronto and Vancouver. Even if you watch in YouTube, you can see some of the people actually showing you footages of homelessness have uh, risen there. In Vancouver Island, unfortunately, it's a massive problem. And I'm all the cities there, more and more. I have uh, cousins there and they showed me pictures and it's uh, really unfortunate that you see really more and more homelessness. In Canada, it's something we used to see from America, watching videos and be like, oh my God, America, this is so bad. The things are happening there. Now we have the same things here. So it's, it's an issue and it's, it's an issue if you're coming here and you're living here, you need to know about it because where you want to spend your time, where you want to buy a house and such, it will affect you. Seeing all the homelessness in front of your house suddenly. And then I don't want to go into much detail because it's a bit controversial, but if you have suddenly dozens of homeless uh, people in front of your house it can be troublesome for you for your children and such and fortunately like I said Canada is helping them doing something to change things and it's a good thing <clears throat> the other thing is that I it's really difficult to talk about uh, you only understand it if you live in Canada but I want to touch on it just a little bit uh, it's the situation with First Nation people if you learn about our history of Canada, you will learn that Canada has one very terrible um, history. And this is about how First Nations, the land has been taken away, how they have been treated very badly and for a very long time. And only really recently, years ago, the government has started really to do much more, to have more programs, helping more. But everything was a bit late, not a bit late, a lot of late. So when you come here, you will see many First Nations people in poverty, some substance abuses on the streets and such. So I want you to be mindful and not be judgmental because you, you just think, hey, they are born here in Canada, one of the richest countries, so easy, right? They should be rich. Why aren't they rich? Why have they, uh, all these issues? When you study about indigenous rights here and everything, then you will understand why this is the situation. And you, it's a part that you need to learn here to really understand Canada and uh, problems that we face in Canada. Like I said, not everyone's rich here. Uh, for the other part, some people have, can, have become more rich here in Canada. If you follow economic news, which I do, not, I know not everyone does, you will find out that some of our biggest companies have become richer. Some of the 
richest people here have become richer while many other people have become poorer they are not necessary homeless and such but they struggle financially and we see this in our economy because people spend less money on things so it's a really unfortunate situation and this like i know it has been terrible in most of the other countries and you might be coming from one of the countries with huge inflation and everything which we don't have here as much and so you, do, you don't expect to see anything like this but then if you talk to canadians you will find out that actually many canadians struggle financially and they have issues paying back credit card loans and so the government has had some programs some good some bad some really good some are really really good and people are really thankful we probably more of those uh, and this is like also i wanted to talk there is a lot of help in canada so if you're coming here and you're still poor or you struggle there is help there are food banks so that those are places you can get through free groceries from the government but only big cities not the small cities you should know and there's all the financial health and such because canada cares about these people and does help it's not perfect there's still a lot of work to do fortunately many politicians agree with it but there needs to be more done some just talk some actually do stuff so i want to be honest with you like i said before it's not perfect but because i have been immigrating to two countries twice to germany and to canada and i know it's a lot of money and many many years you spend with not just the language but learning about the culture and everything and if you then find out that maybe for you or for your family it was not the right choice and you wasted years and years of your life of your children's life and all the money you will be become bitter so this is why i want to be honest because i know so many youtubers out there and news they are just so positive and they don't tell all the whole the whole story the whole truth so i wanted to show you and tell you about all some of the things and some of the things i can't tell you too much because it's too controversial i hope you understand but you can look them up in maybe in youtube in google and find them out I hope this was helpful for you and as I said before I still love Canada I still thankful that Canada took me in and there are many good things you need to find out for yourself what is the right country for you is Canada the right country for you right so I see you on the next one bye